Our next video is still on light interference, still on the thin film, but in this case we want to have a coating on the optical lens in such a way that none of the light is being reflected. In other words, the observer there looks and no light is being reflected, so therefore we must have what we call destruct interference on the reflected light. How do we do that? Well, in order to do that, we know that the phase difference between these two must be equal to a half a wavelength. Because if there's half a wavelength phase difference, then they will destructively interfere with each other. So that means that extra distance traveled is equal to uh, lambda over 2. And of course, since the wave is traveling, the second wave is traveling through the uh, coating where an index of fraction is 1.4, we have to take into account that the index of refraction, so this is equal to lambda over 2n. However, not quite done yet. What about the phase shifts? Are there any phase shifts? And you could say, yes, at the first boundary there's a phase shift because we go from air to, to the coating, from a smaller index of refraction to greater index of refraction, so there is indeed a phase shift. And at the second boundary, again, since you're going from 1.4 to 1.6, there must also be, be a phase shift there. And if you have a phase shift that's the same on both boundaries, then we can just ignore it. And so we can then say that the extra distance travel is equal to lambda over 2n. So there isn't like an extra half a wavelength of phase difference due to the differences in the phase shift at the boundaries. Also, we know that the extra distance travel must be twice the thickness of the, uh, of the coating. So the extra distance traveled must be equal to twice the, co the thickness of the coating. So now we set those two equal to each other. And we say that twice the thickness of the coating must equal lambda divided by 2n. And if that condition is true, we'll have destructive interference here and no light will be reflected. And what kind of optics would we uh, arrange or would we put a coating on so that we have this kind of situation? And the optics, for example, with telescopes where you're looking at in the night sky, you want to collect as much light as possible. You want all the light to be transmitted uh, through the lens and not reflected back off. Uh, then you want to have a coating on there that will actually transmit all of the light that you're looking for. And so that would be the condition required to do so. Looking for T in this case. And of course, we need to know what the wavelength of light is. And let's say the wavelength that we see at night is primarily in the reddish color. So uh, let's say lambda is equal to maybe, let's say, 600 nanometers. You want to set up in such a way that the 600 nanometers is completely transmitted, not being reflected. Then let's plug the numbers in here. We have t uh, is equal to, um, to t is equal. So lambda divided by 4n. And so lambda in this case would be 600 nanometers divided by 4 times n. n would be the coating, 1.4, the next fraction of the coating. And what would that be equal to? So we have 600 e to the 9 minus divided by 4 divided by 1.4 equals, and it would be 107 nanometers. So what you want to do then is put a small coating on top of the lens, make it equal to 107 nanometers. If the index of refraction is 1.4, it will cause all the light of the 600 nanometer range, which is kind of a yellowish, orange, reddish color, will primarily be transmitted, will not be reflected back, you will not see it coming off the lens, and that would be the optimum case for a telescope or binoculars you want to use for night vision. And that's how you do that.